now we are going to see subtract okay the same subtraction of like fraction so second subdivision is subtract so the one is first question is 7 7 by 9 minus 1 by 9 1 1 by 9 okay 7 by 9 minus 1 by 9 so look at the like fraction means you have to see only the denominators first so in both fraction denominators say you have to write it one time and after that you have to write what write the numerator 7 minus 1 you can get a 6 by 9 is the right answer for the question okay first you have to see the like fraction mean you have to see the denominators so if the denominator is same you have to locate the numerators you have to write only one time the one time the denominator after that you have to subtract the numerator 7 minus 1 you can get 6 by 9 next the same next sorry next the next the next the second sum is 6 by 8 minus 1 by 8 so denominators are same because it's a like fraction you have to write it one time and after that write the numerator 6 minus 1 you can get what 5 by 8 is the right answer for the question so next is c sum that is 5 by 7 minus 2 by 7 i'll repeat 5 by 7 minus 2 by 7 so you look at the denominator both denominator both denominators are same that is mean that means that is a like fraction so if the if the uh, denominator is the same you have to write it one time then you have to subtract the numerators 5 minus 2 you can write 3 by 7 this is the right answer for the question next is 1 minus 1 by 5 1 is a whole number 1 is a whole number it's a well, it is a fraction it is a proper fraction so 1 is a whole number minus 1 by 5 is a proper fraction so what you're going to do see you don't have denominator so you have to write 1 divided by 1 then after that minus 1 by 5 now the denominators are different so it is not like fraction so what you're going to do you have to take the lcm so for this particular number you have to just multiply 1 into 5 you can get 5 as a denominator is a common denominator after that 1 by 1 you have to multiply because you have to make this 1 as 5 so you have to multiply by 5 if you multiply by 5 then you denominator if the denominator is multiplied by 5 the numerator is also multiplied by 5 so 5 by 5 you can get what 1 so that is what you have to write what here 5 then after that you have to put a what minus sign so next is 1 by 5 so what you're going to do you have to already the denominator is 5 so you have to multiply by 1 you can get what 5 so here also if the denominator is multiplied by 1 you the numerator is also multiplied by 1 so 1 by 5 so you have to write only 1 here because already the denominator is here so the answer is 5 minus 1 you can get 4 4 by 5 so in this uh, in this particular place 1 divided by 1 that means you have to make this one as it's a assuming denominator so this assumed denominator you have to make it as 5 it's because 5 is a common denominator is a it's lcm it's it, this is a common denominator that is what you have to change one as five so you have to multiply by five one into five you can get what five so if you multiply the denominator is uh, five the numerator also multiply by five that is what the numerator is also one so one into five you can get five one into five you can get five five by five if you cancel both you can get this what whole number one okay so there is no uh, confusion here so you have to write you have to write 5 by 5 because 5 is a what it's a common denominator you get it and also this is a numerator that is what you write it on the top so 5 minus 1 you can get what 4 by 5 4 by 5 is a right answer for the question so this is the what subtraction of like fractions these are the examples not not these are the examples these are the exercise sums okay now we are going to now we are going to move on the types of fraction already i've taught you that is uh, there are different types of fractions that is one is or proper fraction improper fraction and mixed fraction like fraction and like fraction and equivalent fraction we have seen many fraction already in the introduction class but now we are going to see proper fraction means i've told you numerator is lesser than the denominator it is a proper fraction especially it is always greater than zero but less than one it is always greater than zero but less than one it is a it is a value of proper pro, value of proper fraction example 2 by 3 and 4 by 5 i'll repeat once again proper fraction uh, it is always proper fraction means numerator is less than the denominator so numerator means 2 by 3 this uh, what is this 2 by 3 is a fraction 2 is a numerator and 3 is a denominator 
4 by 5 is a fraction it is a proper fraction how could you say it is a proper fraction because 4 is a numerator and 5 is a denominator that is what both are what proper fraction it is always greater than 0 but what less than what but it is always greater than 0 but less than 1 but less than 1 this is a value of proper fraction and improper fraction means it is always equal to 0 or greater than 1 it is always equal to 0 or greater than 1 here proper fraction means it is always greater than 0 it is always greater than 0 but less than 1 it is proper fraction improper fraction means it is always equal to 0 or greater than 1 this is a improper fraction so example 6 by 5 and 7 by 2 6 by 5 is a fraction and 7 by 2 is another fraction 6 by 5 means 6 is a numerator and 5 is a denominator so numerator is greater than the denominator that is what it is a improper fraction of improper fraction example 7 by 2 7 is a numerator and 2 is a denominator so 7 is what greater than the 7 is a numerator and 2 is a denominator so 7 is greater than 2 that is what it is a improper fraction example so we have seen proper fraction the value of proper fraction the value of improper fraction the next class we are going to see converting improper improper fraction to mixed fraction and converting mixed fraction into improper fraction so these are the sums we are going to see and some what real life applications also that is also we are going to see